Today, let's talk about why you shouldn't replace meals with green juice. A lot of the hype around green juices and juices, in general, have come from so-called, juice cleanses. These cleanses involve cutting out all solid food for a period of time, usually from a week to a month, and only consuming fruit and vegetable juice. Juice cleansing is not recommended by medical professionals. Restricting your diet from solid foods has been shown to produce consistently negative results. First of all, you cannot, cleanse, your body of toxins using certain foods or drinks. Your liver, kidneys, and intestines already do this naturally. Anything being sold as a cleanse as a marketing gimmick. Don't fall for it. Finally, there is no evidence that restricting your diet to only liquids promotes healthy, sustainable weight loss. In fact, a majority of those who lose weight during a liquid diet is likely to gain that weight back and then some. The temporary nature of weight loss by juicing is because there is a severe lack of calories in an all-liquid diet, especially one containing only fruits and vegetables. Here is a more extensive look into why replacing your meals with green juice is not recommended by doctors. 1. Lack of fiber. A significant lack of fiber in your diet can create problems, like weight gain and blood sugar fluctuations, which can lead to even bigger problems in the future. Problems like diabetes and heart disease are of main concern. While high fiber foods technically take more energy to digest, your body knows how to process them. The only thing that a healthy level of fiber will do to your body possibly makes you bloat, which is entirely natural. 2. Reduced calories. Unlike what most diet magazines might be telling you, calories are not evil. To maintain a healthy weight and energy level, you actually need to get a good bit of calories. For adult men, this is 2,000 to 2,500 calories a day, and for adult women, it's 1,500 to 2,000. These are just the calories that you need to maintain the function of your organs. Green juice will give you only a third of the number of calories that you need in a meal, which isn't nearly enough. While it might result in a smaller weight for a period, it will also likely result in a slower metabolism. So, it won't help you with weight loss in the long run. 3. Limited Macronutrients. Replacing a meal with a green juice is sure to increase your intakes of micronutrients, like vitamins and minerals, but it won't be good for your macros. Macronutrients are the most important parts of our diets. They include carbohydrates, protein, and fat. Green juices are going to contain a good bit of carbs, but very little protein or fat. Laying out the details of why we need each of these components in our diets would be a lot to explain in this article. To make it simple, without protein and fat, you are going to have much less energy. That's why these compounds are essential to our everyday diets. Thumb up if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you would like to get notified when a new video is on. See you in the next video.